So Raspberry Pi released an update to their imager a couple days ago, and I wanna go over it. This is a big deal because this update really helps out the people that are installing headless units that don't wanna to have to plug in a monitor keyboard and mouse every time they put a new image onto their SD card. One piece of software that popped into my head that would be really useful for something like this is a Pi hole setup. So when you do install it, you do have to plug a monitor keyboard and mouse in, uh, connect it to the network, download the software, install it, and then you can run it headless. Now I haven't actually got to play with the new feature yet, so this is gonna be my first time trying it out. Let's give it a try. So I'm gonna go ahead and download the new imager. Got my SD card installed. All right, so we're gonna do the Raspberry Pi OS. All right, so we're gonna use our 16 gig. So let's see what we got here with our little gear. Disable overscan, set host name. Oh, this is nice. Okay, set host name. I'll put it as my name, Nigel. All right, so my host name, I'll leave the username as pi and I will change the password to raspberry for SSH. And I can configure my Wi-Fi. I've got a Wi-Fi network SSID and password, and I think I'm ready. I'll go ahead and save that and write it. Let's see what we get. All right, so while that's writing, I'm gonna go ahead and just plug my Nano into the wall. All right, so I've got my Raspberry Pi connected to power, but I forgot about one thing. How am I gonna get the IP address off of it? I had the network settings already in there, but how do I get the IP address? I don't have a screen connected. So I think I'm gonna go into my router settings and see if I can find the Raspberry Pi out of all the devices that are on my network. Okay, so I'm back in my router settings and I think I actually found something. I miscapitalized a word for my SSID so it actually didn't connect to my network when I booted up the first time. So I've got my network settings pulled up now and I see that a new device is connected and I know it's new because the device is just called Nigel and it's higher up in my IP address uh, subnet. I'm gonna go ahead and try and connect to it now. So we do SSH. We named our username Pi, and the IP is 192.168.1.43. We're doing port 22. Port 22. Yes. Okay. And we gave our password, which was Raspberry. And we are in, let's go. Let's get to root. And let's install Pi-hole. And while that's updating, what is the URL to access the GUI? Ha, okay. IP address forward slash admin or pi.hole forward slash admin. So when it's done, I'll be able to visit these two URLs, one of the two, and be able to access the interface of the Pi Hole without ever having to plug a keyboard monitor or mouse up to it. That's so sick. Sure, I'll set it as a static. We'll just go with Google. Okay. Web admin interface, yes, of course. Web server, yep. I agree, yep. Show everything. Okay, so we gave it our dot 43 as a static, so that won't change, which is good. We're just using Google DNS. That was the other question it asked me, so we're using 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 and 8.8.4.4. .4. Now the install process does take a while, so I suggest making a cup of coffee or something while you wait. It's like five or 10 minutes. Installation complete, let's go. Okay, so we got our password. 
Let's go ahead and notepad that. All right, let's try it out. So we're just gonna try the domain that we get from the GitHub page, PyHole admin. Oh, it doesn't work. Let's do the IP address. There we go. Nice. So let's log in with our password. We got generated. And we are in. Oh, well, that's it. Well, there you have it. Well, there it is. Well, there it is. I installed the Raspberry Pi OS onto my SD card, popped it into my Raspberry Pi without connecting a monitor keyboard or mouse, connected it to power, found it on my network, connected to it, installed software, and never had to plug in a monitor keyboard and mouse. That's pretty cool. But that's pretty much it. Peace.